I am Bhaskar Bhatt. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, observations uh, in the subject of uh, design engineering 1A that is offered across all the branches of engineering in the semesters 3 of uh, bachelor's <coughs> second year. Uh, the objective today uh, of this talk is to learn the observation technique and develop a skill to identify uh problem statement in form of uh, clues uh, that can later be addressed using different design thinking tools such as uh, uh, ideation canvas or empathy mapping or uh, later on product development and then designing of the accelerants and so on so basically today what we are going to learn is all about recalling something that we all know and to understand and make some meaningful framework uh, that can help us uh, with uh, advancing the design engineering subject towards uh, innovation. Observations are generally used for uh, uh, many things all by all of us. Uh, basically, the focus here to observe is to generate an idea and we are going to make sense, uh, use of sense of uh, all the five senses that we have uh in, in in a scientific manner by viewing at something with some focus and then hearing something precisely uh, whether if required we can taste also to an extent if some products uh, such as uh, involved and then we may uh, make an observation by touching the surface if we feel the texture or the uh, type of uh, the surface reaction is uh, giving and to an extent maybe uh, the smell of uh, some of the objects can be useful as a part of observation it is said that a designer without observation is a bird without wings so do the engineers are so for an engineer it is uh, very much essential to develop a skill of uh, uh, observation whenever uh, one engineer must be looking at or moving around with uh, anything he must be taking note uh, inside the brain for some of the things that are happening and has some uh, technical importance so the design engineering approach uh, talks about the observations and that too uh, is required to be driven by imagination uh, that is basically uh, what we are going to use here the imagination uh, first and then to observe later on and then coming back to imagination and then forth. Uh, it's an iterative uh, uh, to an extent we can say that it is an endless cycle. Uh, why why we need to do that sort of uh, approach in here is that because uh, many of the time engineers uh, find it difficult to come up with uh, novel ideas whenever we are making some decisions and in most of the cases whatever we are doing uh, in the users uh, find it difficult to accurately describe their preferences so uh, what actually one person uh, is uh, wishing and very much uh, comfortable in using of something that we generally miss out and then uh, more or less uh, the products are developed or the processes are developed based on the imagination of the engineers or the person who is working with and uh, on the other hand uh, it is very much difficult to predict someone's uh, preference uh, who is acting as a user uh, that is where uh, we find many of the products or processes uh, uh, are failed uh, even though it is encompassing much of innovation as far from the traditions in most of the cases the imagination is failed uh, why why is that uh, if we see into it uh, we can say that, uh, that it's a tendency to fill in and leave out without telling us the features and consequences we fail to consider are often quite important in most of the cases we think about something but uh, we are failed to create a generic or a holistic scenario and it's a tendency of the project uh, the present into the future right so we we wish to project the present onto the future and uh, that is how we fail 
uh, it's a failure to uh, rec recognize that things will look different once they happen we generally see things from one point uh, that we call in civil engineering a uh, point of perception or point of perspective and uh, that is uh, how we we see from one point only uh, but but the uh, there are many other uh, visionary points that should be looked into so how do we identify all of them so we need to create an iteration on same of the situation with number of types of uh, you know uh, alternative uh, means however they can be happening around so here uh, we we need to iterate and iterate iteration instead of imagination uh, we need to carry out so what do we do is he we take uh, first hand observation then find out something useful into it and then we make another observation keeping the earlier particular clue into the uh, background and then the second cycle of observation will tell us something somewhat more insightfulness of the uh, happening and then we again find something uh, out of it and then go on with the cycle of observing again and again and again uh, so for that the uh, various means are required no of uh, observations are uh, leaving back the notes or photographs or uh, video clips or the video recordings maybe in some of the cases uh, some talks that we had with some of the users or the stakeholders and then we may go for some field observations uh, to check out whether some processes are uh, happening appropriately or not and if we compile all of this uh, in a very uh, let us say uh, manner then it is uh, called ethnographic way of representing the observations uh, this is a, a form of AEIO framework and uh, you can see in the there are uh, notes and there are some chats and there are sticky notes and then photographs and maybe backed up by some of the video graphs and uh, notes from interviews and so on there are some photographs as well of the some of the persons who might have uh, provided with some of the important notions so here uh, um, let us discuss about how to carry out the uh, observations uh, by using aeio framework which initially was uh, developed by ethno hub you can see the online links if you like to go through the details you can uh, these uh, sources can be explored uh, basically it is about the activities environments interactions objects and the users keeping all together around the user experience in the center so how the process goes is like uh, during the field observation uh, we use this uh, aeio framework as a lens to observe the surrounding environment and once it is done uh, we keep on doing the brainstorming among all the members in a group uh, with open-ended questions like uh, what, why, how, when, and where. And then the cycle keeps on going again and again. We do this because uh, some of the difficulty was anticipated or in, in our imagination we thought that, yeah, something was not all the way correct. So And we, we looked into some of the sector or one specific circumstances where things were uh, not in order that is what we anticipated and we uh, by using this framework actually are attempting to find that particular element which is creating that sort of 